you are still watching Love is Zone right with me, Nanadra Delicia, and I still have Juanita in the studio. Juanita, so after you realized that he was smoking, yeah. what actions did you take? Nothing, as I, I said, because I was in love with him, so I, I didn't do nothing about it. I was fine, and okay, I even sometimes go to the beach and you know, sit beside him for him to smoke. I was even fine with it. You were sitting beside him for me. Were well, you not scared? I wasn't at all. Because well, one thing I really um, I appreciate about him that he did, that was very good. But he never taught me how to do that. And I never did that. OK. Yeah. Did, at that point, were your parents aware that you were not? Or they were still not aware? I, my mom was. But my dad wasn't. Yeah, my dad wasn't. OK. So You were still in school at that time? I was dropping out. No. You were dropped out. Yes, I was you out did? from school. I'm not. I'm not. I completed. You had completed. Oh, yes. okay. Okay. Yeah. So that's how. Then later on, I was having a friend of mine. You know, a guy friend. Sometimes I used to go in there, get a phone. Sometimes phone was not that. You know, common. yeah, common in that time. So he gave me his phone to listen to music and all that. And and then. The guy was very jealous about me, so he wasn't okay. Your so boyfriend? Yes, my okay. boyfriend. My ex. Your so, ex. <laughs> <laughs> so one day, I went to his house and with a phone, and he wasn't okay. He, he took the phone and threw it away. I wasn't know how much expensive the phone was. And I was arrested because of the phone. You were arrested? Yes. Yeah. I was just home in his house, and they came in there, you know. Not like with handcuffs or something. What did, just, a, what did your ex do about it when he heard that you were arrested? No, not at all. He wasn't home that moment they, when they came for me and okay. he never came in there. So my dad was the person who came and you know, my mom called my dad. I, just, I called my mom when I was when, I don't, when he, they take you there, they sometimes ask you, you want to call somebody. I was just oh, on the okay. counter back, they didn't just put him in the cell. Oh, okay. So I called my mom and he called my dad. She called my dad and she came. My dad came in, to, you know. Give me a bill and that was the time my dad, uh, my dad find out yes that you were seeing the guy the guy and all that and i was beaten by my dad very massively very massively very massive because i'm from a christian what hap what happened after that incident so, what happened with you and the guy after that incident okay so i decided to just get out from this relay because i don't think it's very good for me so I decided to move out from the village. It was very hard for me because you can't just, you know. But through that, I decided to, you know, and I moved from the relationship. Move on. And he was okay. He didn't worry you. Uh, you know how how it's it's it's. He wasn't that much okay because sometimes he'd be like, "Come to my house," you know. And I was like, "No, you know, I, I can't continue with you again." And he was okay. Yeah, I try any best that I can for him to understand what I'm trying to say. And, Things were fine. Yes. That was the end for you guys. Uh, yes, the, yes, that was the end for What me. happened again? So I decided not to jump into any relationship that moment at that time. But later I'll find myself in Would you say you were broken hearted? Yes. Yes. I was very like it it hurt so bad. It hurt so bad for someone you love you. I was expecting him, you know, to you know come around or when but you were he, arrested. Yes, but he never make any attempt. Wow. So it wasn't okay for me. But okay. I took it that way. Yeah. Let's close that chapter. When you left the relationship, what happened with you again? As I was saying, I decided not to jump into any relationship. But later, through a friend again. <laughs> a I friend did, again. A friend again. I jumped into another relationship. And it's... Uh, the lady was dating... Um, um, the guy he introduced me to, his friend. So we were like two friends and two friends dating. You understand? And then he was the worst guy I've never met in my life. Worst? Worst guy. So after you moved on to a new relationship, he was still cheating on you. I mean, he was doing worse things than... Very worse. Worse, sir. I, 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 my, I need to create my own name. Worse, sir. You know? <laughs> was, worst... it, was it that bad? It was very bad. Were you in love with him or you, you were just moved into the relationship because your friend introduced no, no, no. you? No matter how you know just you can't you can't love someone at the moment you just saw him. Yeah, it's a 
take time. Yeah, to take time. Okay. So, so a lot of people be, be saying, I'm in love with you. It's, it's not true. It's never true. <laughs> Sister, you wait one more to charm on. Oh, oh, my patch of in Kubana. Honampa. Obia, she shall say, Obenya Honampa. Nanso, Honampa, dear, yes, re. Nemo, Obenya be was a sister here. A son say, and you are no bit to say, aloe vera. Olive oil, vitamin A, any vitamin E. Any any anura who drop here, a buama hunam no a year trum trum. Ne a yinki can be a free hunam nini. E mawinya stretch marks, and nan and so babia. Say ni an inu we munina and a perfect skin and body therapy. A kabom e dia yet perfect on ampa body lotion. Perfect on ampa body lotion. Kokosra tuntunsra. Perfect on ampa body lotion. So who pebi atwa? Ubenya bi wobebi o moton in kubia. Perfect on ampa body lotion. Strap nanya on ampa. So they call the last lap. It's not true. Yeah. So I was later on I was in love with him too, but we just dated for eight months because the worst worst person I've never met. Yeah. How many times did you catch him? Several times. And you know, you just be in the house today. Mm -hmm. Just left in the evening. And somebody another person wow. another lady will be around, yes. So I caught him I with um a lady's trousers, jeans trousers. You know, very cute and skinny. Like I thought it's for a kid. I asked him I came in there and I saw it and I asked him whose pants is this and he was trying to tell me that he just um his younger sister so i believe it mm -hmm. so i was just there and I, I i posted his picture it was his birthday i posted a picture on facebook mm -hmm. and then the lady one lady commented who, commented was like do you know this guy if i don't know him why have i posted it and yeah. he, was, he was trying to tell me that that's the boyfriend? Yes. And I was like, what? He said, yes. I used to come there. If you like, check this place. I left my trousers, the blah, 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 the whole hotel. And I was like, he, he told me to, to, you know, exchange number with him, with her, and I did. So we tried and met and said, hey, just check this place in this room. And that's that you see my things and they're hiding over that place. Because anytime I ask him about my things, why is he hiding my things over there instead of putting it in the wardrobe? If you were the only person you were dating. Yes. So I did, and it was true. And I asked him that day. He cried the whole night, trying to you know. I know he was pretending. The next day, he did the same thing again. So I decided to you know. So we dated for just eight months. I just dropped out. I was I was good, a very good guy. Yes. Okay. Again, he was a Muslim too. So I decided to you know, move on. Now like, move on. So that was the time I decided not to enter into any relationship. relationship. And I stayed for. One and a half year without being into any relationship, no sex, no nothing. Yes, and you were just fine. I was fine, but you know, whilst I've been broken hearted for several times, and you know, men were not good to me at all, I decided to, you know, you say you like me, I'll just take your money, and yeah, I know. But for the heart, you will never give it to the person. <laughs> not to the heart, I'll never date you. Oh, okay. I'll just come for the money. So you just we're, give me the money. We're all um, about the money. Those were. Those were um, old men. I moved from Kumasi to Accra. You were doing sugar daddies. Uh -huh. so, <laughs> so I moved to Accra and I find one at Tema Harbor and I find one at uh, a lot. lot. But I was just taking the money, nothing more. You say you ended up doing sugar daddies. Yes, I'm but I'm like, not sleeping that yet. Yes, I never trusted any as a guy, as a young guy again. Even though I now I'm married and the man, the man I'm married to is even older than more older than me. You know yes. what? People always say, I hear it around that mm. dating um, an older person or getting married to an older person is much better than my, my dear, I'll tell you it's very much better than a young guy. I'll tell you that. Or oh, not too old though, but um like let me say, if you are 25 years, he needs to be like 49 years, almost 50 years. It's fine. So that would be like two times older than yes, you. Yes, it's fine than going to a relationship with a normal, no. Okay, I can see a ring on your hand. Yes, I'm married. You're married. So I stay for like, 
um, one and a half year without sex and you know being into a relationship. But you were again. just sugar uh -huh, For that one day, I will, I will not lie. I was doing it. So she was me and Kisano. <laughs> <laughs> no, a friend right. again. Wow. A friend again. A classmate. A junior high school classmate. I was there for a long time, and you know he called me. Mm -hmm. One and a half year time, he called me. and He was like, somebody saw your pic on my phone, and he said he likes you. I was like, hey, that's your husband. Be, yes, oh, okay. a BM. <laughs> this time again. So I was like, I it was in my mind that this time I'm not going there for you know a like younger a, person. Not a younger person, like going with my heart. Oh, okay. okay. I decided to my grandma and mom always say something that now when you have to go, you need to go with your head. So if they give you a nod, then you know. You just put so your head I, out. <laughs> instead of your heart, it's very hard to, you know, pull it out. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, so this is where we draw the curtains for today's show. My name is Nanadra Delish, and I want to say a very big thank you to our sponsors, Perfect Skin and Body Therapy, Perfect One and Power Body Lotion, and Perfect Natural Toning Oil. My guest said that's what she's using, though. So you out there can also try something, and personally, that's what I'm also using. So you can try. Um, we had our show inside Kumase as usual, and it's been wonderful on the show you can follow us on our instagram page at loverzone 20 and also on youtube you can subscribe to our channels on gh perfect tv and love zone so it's been wonderful with you thanks for watching the show catch me same time next week but for now it's a bye my name is tanaja delish stay blessed